everybody, and happy birthday to everyone born today, August 20th. And if you do know anyone born today, please share this video with them. Um, I'll be doing a little mini reading for, for your birthdays today. It's just um, what the cards will say for the year ahead. And then I pull also a tarot card just to see how your day goes. Special little card for you guys. And um, if you do want a comprehensive astrological year ahead for your birthday I'll go on my about section and email me and i will send you information how to obtain that anyway let's see for today um people born today are people pleasers i mean you guys see pro uh, relationships as the primary force in life it's like you always have to be together with someone not all of you but you know that's like the foundation of all of you <laughs> More than most of your uh, other Leos, um, you enjoy like joint ventures all the time, cooperative activities. You tend to think in terms of we and us and, you know, uh, forth between. You're always going back and forth between diverse social circles and, with considerable ease, though. Um, there is a few of you who can, um, who have really great, um, social uh, diplomacy skills. Um, um, as much as you do always need to be a part in a partnership or uh, part of a team, you do have a need of um, to be first <laughs> in everything anyway, even if there is um, um, a, a partnership. You have confidence, personal magnetism, um, uh, you you're, you always are noticed. You're very fun-loving, fun to be with. You enjoy being the center of everyone's attention. But again, you know, you're not a mental lightweight either. You know, you, you have profound things that people can learn from. You have a clear understanding of what's really important in life, as well as the ability to share your insight with others. You have excellent organizational skills and the knack for taking over in times of crisis and resolving problems and disputes. You are enterprising. You have a great um, you you have great uh, creativity. Um, you virtually are guaranteed for success in any field or endeavor um, that interests you. In love reunions, you have the knack for always doing the right thing. You are you are a good um, partner. You don't forget birthdays either. Do I? You must have that Leo in me, I guess. <laughs> Anniversaries. Um, any special dates you like being um, petted and admired and return you make your lover feel pampered and adored too that's beautiful anyway let's get on with your reading for today and here is what prominent sign will be for you guys for the year oh you got Aries there you go it's a beautiful card um, that's your fellow water sign of uh, water sign okay a water sign could also be prominent. Sometimes when I blurt things out, they mean something. So Aries is a fire sign. But anyway, um, Aries is, tell, it's telling me that uh, Aries people are going to be a focus in your life over the next year. Aries type people, this could be somebody coming in, um, a love relationship with, or they will, you'll be just attracted to these people. There'll be a focus in the year for you. They could help or hinder you. It depends. Aries also deals with your ninth house, and it is the first house. So you're looking at houses, um, dealings with the first and ninth house. Anyway, let's see what your, um, ah, Venus. So that's the prominent planet and houses that will be in focus over the next year. So what it's telling me, Venus, wherever it is, um, aspecting during the year, it will be, um, making major aspects um effects in your life good or bad aspects they're going to like be profound for you and this could also say you may fall in love with an aries type person um or you know um it doesn't necessarily mean so but that's another way we could look at it um venus is the natural ruler of um uh taurus it's the second house and but it is your 10th house so we're talking about Second house of self-worth, money, finances, your 10th house of status. Your status may change. Um, also career. Um, then it, it is also the natural ruler of a Libra, which is the ruler of the seventh house, partnership, marriage, so and so on. 
Um, but it is your third house of communication, writing and skills and um, transportation and all that kind of stuff. And with Venus there, you could be um, writing maybe love novel. You know, it's just, it's those are the houses that are in focus. Also, I'm getting the feeling that the number nine and the number eight could be prominent numbers for you during the year too. So let's pull a tarot card to see what the theme of the year will be. Okay, and you got the Eight of Cups. Okay, what the Eight of Cups is coming. Oh my God, it's so watery. There we go. I mentioned water earlier. Eight of Cups is dealing with some um, emotional issues or uh, issues during the year, probably being the focus of the Aries Venus type of thing, which correlates with Venus too, and eventually leaving these situations behind, um, putting some closure to it. So that is good. That's moving forward, leaving some stuff behind, situations behind, dealing with some stuff. So that is good. Let's see what um, your day will be like. <laughs> and you got the Two of Swords. Okay, the Two of Swords, that's telling me maybe you'll be sitting and wondering or you'll get two offers to go out to dinner. Where do we go for dinner or, you know, stuff like that. It's also talking about um, making two decisions. Um, loyalty, there could be a lot of um, um, loyalty issues, meaning that you could be feeling that love or, you know, I could um, um, trusting people. Um, I think um, it's also dealing with partnership here and making some kind of decision or actually indecision. So, you know what? Just have a lighthearted day. Enjoy your birthday. And please like, share, and subscribe. I so appreciate it. I wish you a wonderful year ahead and a beautiful day and enjoy your birthday. Bye.